Hi everyone. Let's take a look at this problem. We're going to find the points on this surface that are closest to the origin. So we're going to create a distance function from the origin to any point uh, in space. So let's write down the distance formula. So d is equal to the square root of, we have x minus x o squared plus y minus y o squared plus z minus z o squared. So that is going to be our uh, distance formula. Now we're going to um, substitute our point, the origin. So we know the origin will have the point 0, 0, 0. So let's substitute those for x, o, y, o, and z, o. So we have the square root of, so when you sub in x, o, y, o, z, o to be 0, you get the uh, expression x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So that is going to be our uh, function of x, y, and z. Now we want to use our uh, surface that's been given to us. So we're going to plug this into our function that we just computed in place of y squared. So that is the constraint we're going to use to find the uh, maximum or the minimum of that function. We're going to create the distance function. So by substituting that in here, we're going to have our d is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, well, that's going to be 9 plus x times z plus z squared. Now let's go ahead and get rid of the square root. So we have uh, d squared is equal to x squared plus 9 plus uh, xz plus z squared. So this is the function we want to uh, find the partial derivative of to see where it has maximum or minimum. Uh, now, instead of looking at d squared, let's call this a function of x and y. So we're going to choose our function, let um, maybe g of x, y. Let's call that our distance squared function. So this will be x squared plus 9 plus xz plus z squared. Now let's go ahead and compute its derivative. So we'll take its partial derivative respect to x, set it to 0, and then partial derivative respect to, um, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. This is a function of x and z. So be mindful of that. So partial of g respect to z. So partial of g respect to x, that would be 2x plus z. And then we're going to set it equal to 0. So that will allow us to find critical numbers. So we'll have, um, we'll have the following. So we'll have 2x is equal to negative z. That means x is going to be negative z over 2. All right, let's hold on to that. Now, partial of g respect to z, that's going to be x plus 2z. And then we're going to set that to 0. So that will give us x is equal to negative 2z. All right, so now that we have this, now let's uh, take this and plug it in here. So maybe I could have uh, just left it x plus 2z equal to 0. But let's, let's just see what this comes out to be. So I'm going to replace my... Uh, equation that I just boxed, x is equal to this into x equals 2z. So you're going to have uh, two, uh, negative z over 2 is equal to 2z. And then let's um, move everything to one side. You're going to have multiply everywhere by 2. We can do that algebraically, just working it out. So we're going to have z is equal to um, 4z which means z is equal to zero. All right, so if z is equal to zero, that means if I can plug this in here, get the x value, well, x will also be zero. So I know x is equal to zero, y is e uh, z is equal to zero, but what is y? y, we're going to get it from our surface right here. By plugging this in, we're going to get our y value to be, uh, oh, let's see. So y is going to be equals to, y squared is going to be 9 plus x times z. Well, x and z are 0, so y squared is simply 9. So y is equal to plus and minus 3. All right, so that is our point on this surface that it's um, closest to the origin. Now, we need to verify that, though. So that's not enough. So we know that our points are x is 0, y is 3, z is 0. And so we have two points, actually, 0, negative 3 and 0. So this is the point we claim is closest to the origin, and that's on the surface. But let's uh, verify that by doing the second derivative test. 
So we're going to compute the uh, second partial derivative. So we want second partial of g respect to x. So let's go back to our g of x. So our partial of g respect to x is this right here. So the second partial respect to x would be 2. So this is going to be 2. So we know this is positive. Now partial of g respect to z, the second partial. So go back to the partial of g respect to z. That's this one right here. That's also going to be 2. And this is also positive. And now we need the partial of x respect to z. So um, you know, the mixed partial. So going back to my partial of g respect to x, that's right here, not take derivative respect to z, that will be a 1. So here's 1. So that means we're going to test the Hessian at the point 0, 0. So the Hessian is defined as, so for this particular problem, it's going to be g partial respect to x, x, g of z, z, minus the mixed partial g of x, z squared. So let's see what this will give us. So this is going to be equal to 2 times 2 minus 1 squared, which is going to be positive. So note that our partial of the second partial of g respect to x is positive, and the Hessian is also positive, which implies that the point zero zero is a local minimum. So we do have the point that is closest to the origin. So these points represents um, closest point on the surface from the origin. Let me show you an illustration by graphing this in 3D calculator. Okay, so here's our 3D calculator. Let's go ahead and sketch the surface. So hopefully you remember our surface was y squared is equal to nine plus x times z. So the surface you're looking at is this right here. The, the green is representing the y-axis. And if you look at it this way, you get to see the x. That's the red axis that you see. And the one in blue, that's the z-axis. So it's a, a hyperboloid of one sheet. OK, now let's plug the point. So we, we want to see the point that's closest from the origin to the surface. And we found that to be 0, 3, 0. So let's plug in that points to show you. So here's a uh, zero comma three comma zero. So that's the point right here that's on the surface, right? I hope you can see that right there. Um, now the other point we had was uh, zero comma negative three comma zero. All right, and that point is right here. So these are the two points, as you can see, they're right on the y-axis and they're closest from the origin on the surface and other points are probably further away. So that's, that's the uh, scenario we have for this particular surface. Okay, uh, that's it. I hope this makes sense. Take care guys.